you're motivated. I'm motivated. All right, well, what's my motivation? And I am a motivational speaker. And I live in a van down by the river. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Today, I would like to talk to you about how to continue keeping yourself motivated in your quest not to drink. I'm going to explain to you the science of motivation, how the neurotransmitter dopamine works in your brain, and also some simple steps to take to stay motivated. Dopamine, what is it? What does it do? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter in your brain, a chemical that's associated with reward and motivation. It helps us to stay focused on our work. It helps us to work harder, to achieve goals. It also gives us a pleasurable feeling, a sense of fulfillment when we eat things like chocolate or have sex. But it plays a part in motivating us to accomplish things. Dopamine is associated with seeing things through, staying to the end to get that reward. I'll give you an example. When you go into a casino or gambling house, you put money into a slot machine and nothing happens. And then you do it again. And you do it again and still nothing happens. You just pull the lever. And then all of a sudden you put a coin in and the lights light up and the bells and whistles go off and you get this reward. You win some money. These are all hooks into wanting you to continue this activity. He sits at that slot machine and mindlessly drains money away. Regardless of how much money you spend, you want that high. You want that reward. You want those bells and whistles. You want those lights. You want the sound of the coins dropping into the slot. That's what keeps you gambling. People who buy scratch-off tickets... Hey, Carl. Hey, can I get a couple of scratch-off lottery tickets? They lose 10 times in a row, but they continue to go back and buy more. Why is that? Because they think the next one is going to be the winner. It has to be that next ticket. I have to buy that next ticket. That's how the dopamine in your brain is working. It creates a reward that motivates a behavior. You take action. You get a reward. And then you have more motivation to take more action. What most people don't realize is that motivation comes after the action, not before. That's why it's so hard for some people to stop drinking. They're waiting for some magical bolt of lightning, lightning. from the sky to motivate them. That's not how it works. Once you get busy and once you get started, it becomes easier. Highly motivated people are usually very busy people. Busy. This is hardwired into our DNA. Our ancient ancestors are wandering around in the woods and they see a piece of fruit high in a tree. And they climb the tree to get to it and they eat it and it's very delicious. So they're motivated to continue to climb the trees to get this particular fruit. The reward comes after the work. Motivation comes after the action. If you're an emotionally unhealthy person and you've been drinking because of it, don't stop drinking to change how you feel. The only way to change your emotions is by changing how you act and changing how you think. Look at it this way. If you stop drinking, it's not going to stop you from getting less depressed. If you stop drinking, it's going to help you face your problems instead of escaping from them. Then you start dealing with your emotions. And how do we change our emotions? By changing how you act and react to situations and changing how you think about those situations, and yourself. You need to build up habits and routines in your life that produce motivation. Consistently small, regular habits. Choosing one small thing to act on. Action leads to reward, leads to motivation, leads to more action. I'll give you an example. For me, I chose exercise and diet. Exercise was the action. Better health, better eating habits, better sleep, the look of a healthier person, that led to higher self-esteem and higher self-confidence, which was the reward, which leads to more motivation, which leads to more action. You have to take action first. Then comes the reward. Then comes more motivation. Remember that always action first. It means rolling up your sleeves and getting busy. Take that first step. Say you're going to go the rest of today without having a drink. After you get through this day, take a second to congratulate yourself. Give yourself a moment to enjoy that feeling. That will push you. It will motivate you to continue that action of not drinking. A lot of times depressed people tend to downplay their accomplishments. They don't take credit for them. They don't feel worthy. That you're not going to amount to jack squat! 
don't do that. If you stop drinking, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself some props. That way you'll want to continue the action. That little burst of dopamine is going to make you want to continue it. It will motivate you. Also, the more motivated you get with other tasks, the easier it's going to be for you to stop drinking. Little things like keeping your house clean, going for walks, hydrating. Drinking a lot of water really helps too. At the beginning, it does. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing those things. Don't forget that those little things add up. For me, it was keeping a clean house. And it was just nice to come home and the house is clean. It was nice to wake up. I don't have to clean. The house is already clean. You know, the sink's empty. Kitchen's clean. Bathroom's clean. All my clothes are washed. Cabinets have food in them. Refrigerator's got good, healthy food in it. Those little things motivate you to take on the bigger task, like not drinking. It will give you a sense of, I can do it, instead of, it's too big for me. You know, always think positive. Glass half full. Right now, watching this video, you reward yourself for watching this. You're wanting to better yourself. You're not watching a video about puppies. You're watching a YouTube video on self-improvement. Good for you. Good job. This is how it begins. And continue this by building up a lot of good, positive habits, small ones. It's going to make your life change so much easier. Build up an internal sense of pride. Start working on intrinsic rewards. It's okay to buy yourself a new pair of shoes or some materialistic things, but the real payoff is going to be internally. The way you feel about yourself, the way you think about yourself. Remember that don't be a people pleaser. Don't do this to please other people, okay? You want to do this for yourself. It won't last if your motivation isn't internal, okay? The only respect you need is self-respect. Remember that. You can use other people to help motivate you, but always yourself. Always remember you're doing this for you. Also, when it comes to not drinking, don't look at it like it's going to be some horrible labor. Oh God, I can't drink anymore. This is going to suck. Look at it like, hey, this is a new beginning, a fresh start. I can't wait to see how I feel at the end of today when I haven't had a drink. I'm going to feel so much better about myself. Now, which way sounds easier to you? Which way sounds better? Which way sounds more accomplishable? I hope that's a word. Don't try and church it up, son. It's going to be the same result at the end, but you might as well get it in your head that this is something that you want to do. It'll probably be the only way you can accomplish it. It's the best way to build strong intrinsic motivation and internal strength. Keep positive thoughts in the front of your mind. Stay focused on why you're doing this and say it over and over and over again. I'm bettering myself. I'm doing this to better myself. That's that little dopamine rush that's going to motivate you to continue the action. Start writing down your accomplishments as well. Not just your days of sobriety, but everything else involved in that sobriety. Like days that you exercised, days that you took care of small daily details without procrastinating and putting things off to the end. Like cleaning your house or taking care of family matters that you have before they build up or before they turn into this huge thing. Take care of your pets if you have pets. And don't wait till the last minute to do everything. Mark your days off on a big calendar if you want. Get a big marker. That way you can visibly see your progress. When you accomplish whatever your goals are that day, at the end of the day, mark it off. It looks nice. It's nice to wake up to and see, wow, I am changing. And you can look back on the calendar and see all those marked off days. And it's very motivating. Yes, it fucking is! You want to reinforce that sense of accomplishment. Imagine how good you feel when your day is done and you haven't drank. You know, hold on to that feeling. Make it come true. It's going to build neural pathways in your brain that reinforce the positive behavior. It takes a while to be able to do that. To change your thought process usually takes about 90 days. So be prepared to have to go through some difficult times at the beginning. That's what's going to happen. And do yourself a favor. Don't engage in negative self-talk. Stop beating yourself up over your past. There's nothing that can change it. It's done. It's over. You're working on a better future right now. Remember that. Negative self-talk decreases motivation. You got to let that shit go. Okay? Let it go. Let it go. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have plenty more videos to watch. And if you have a particular issue that you need help with, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. And remember, know thyself. Bye-bye.